going on folks happy saturday this is your boy mitch of mitchpiration um i am back with another episode of black bald and bearded welcome to my bathroom the place where i practice self-care in terms of my grooming um today is a different episode um it's going to be more of a wash day feel but i'm actually going to be testing out some different beard products um, I know you've already seen me have one wash day and I was showing you some different beard products that I've used. Well, I ran out. And so I figured, you know, why not give somebody else new a shot to impress me? Um, so today we're going to be using products by the Gillette brand called King C Gillette. Um, I've kind of heard some good things about them. I've seen people from all cultures and backgrounds use it and I've seen great reviews from all cultures and backgrounds. So I figured, you know what, I'm, I was in Target buying grooming products. I said, why not? You know what I'm saying? Um, the one thing that I did not purchase was their um, soft beard balm because they just didn't have any. So until I get the balm, I'll continue to use my leave-in conditioner that I mentioned in my previous video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's get this wash day going. All right, folks, so this is what the beard wash looks like. It's actually a face and beard wash. And I guess the thing that really makes this unique is that it's made with a coconut water base. So that's something different that King C. Gillette is bringing to the table with this one. Um, it said you can use it on your beard and your face. I use completely different products for my face, but the water is on. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-rinse my beard. Get this thing going. Get a little water coat in there. I don't know if y'all can tell, my beard is a little straggly right now, so you can't tell that it's actually grown since my last video. More so like what I'm noticing is that my beard is growing from like the chin area down and not on the sides. So I'm interested to see how I can get my sides to even out so we can be even all the way around. All right, guys, as always, a little goes a long way. Two squirts should do. You know I like to get that quick lather and already it's lathering up, so that's a good sign. This thing smells amazing. It actually smells like cologne in a way. That's one thing I got to work on too, fellas. Like my cologne collection is weak. Um, so as I'm getting older, I'm starting to care more and more about certain things and let go of other things. And cologne is something that I used to always ask my dad for as a teenager, especially on dates and then on Sundays for church. Like I always saw my dad, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get a little more because the lather goes away quick. But I always remember my dad putting cologne on before church. So I'm like, Pop, I want some cologne too. So for a little minute, he was like, nah, son, you too young. But probably once I hit like eight, nine, maybe nine, going into my preteen years, he loosened up the rings and let me put cologne on. Then I made the mistake of putting too much cologne on. <laughs> So I was way strong, but I've learned over the years, a little bit goes a long way. I'm definitely a less is more kind of guy. So this feels good, smells good. It lathers differently from my other stuff. So I don't want to sound biased. I'm gonna just let the process do what it do and we'll go from there. So right now I'm just gonna rinse this out. And I'm looking ahead of me because my, my, my mirror is right here. That's how you want it to look, trying to get that soap out. That's a good lather. A beard wash is only as good as the lather it creates. So, by me having to do all this extra rinsing, that lets me know it's a good lather. 
But I'm gonna get this out of my beard and I'm gonna come back to y'all, all right? <laughs> also guys, don't forget, whenever you're drying your beard, you wanna use something that's not gonna like be aggressively brushing up against your beard. So an, a normal towel you would clean your body with isn't ideal, but if you have to use that, pat your beard dry. Don't be rubbing it and doing all this and that. Um, I heard that microfiber towels are really good, um, but also like you can use paper towels as well. Um, so yeah, that's that. As you already know, this is my moisturizer I've been using. It ain't ran out yet. I ain't even halfway through. My wife got me this. It's from African Pride, coconut oil and bull bag oil, leave-in conditioner. Um, like I said, I went in Target. Their conditioner was out, so I'm assuming that's a good sign. Um, but this stuff works like magic too. Um, and it'll help with the next step in the process. So you're going to get that conditioner in. You're going to rub it in your beard. Put it up under there. Put it on top there. Leave no place untouched. All right. Now, this is where it gets tricky because I have this beard thickener, but then I also have beard oil. Um, but the directions, got to look at them directions. The directions for the thickener says to apply to wet or dry hair and massaging with fingertips to fully coat the beard. Style as usual. Use daily to maintain thickness. Um, the oil says apply a few drops onto your palm, then work into beard and skin. So I'm assuming this thickener is going to kind of act as a catalyst. So I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand because the bottle is small. So I notice when I see small bottles, that means a little bit is going to go a long way. Kind of just shimmers up in my hand. But I'm going to probably just add this after I do my leave-in conditioner and see what this does. This also smells really good. It's strong, but it smells good. Um, but yeah, I like adding stuff in my beard when it's wet because once it dries, I know it's already settled. The only thing you can really put on a dry beard, in my opinion, is like oil or any kind of like leave-in conditioner or balm um, or beard butter, as we talked about before. But it just makes more sense in my head for me to put the thickener in. Then I'm going to add my oil. As you can see, this bottle is pretty small. I only did three drops. Rub that in. Let that get in there too. All right. So I'm still making mistakes, guys. I still don't have a wooden pick or a wooden comb for my beard. Those are like the two things that I always mess up on. I never still haven't got me a wooden pick or a wooden comb. So I'm going to be gentle using this plastic comb. And I'm just going to kind of comb my beard outward just to give it some volume. And that always allows all the products to mix in together. But I have like this comb that starts wide and gets narrow. Um, somebody been using my comb. Anyway, we'll figure that out later. Maybe not. Maybe I just haven't cleaned it as well as I should. Some long hairs on this thing that don't look like my beard hairs. Maybe my wife was sneaking, doing something with her edges or something. All right, so as you can see, I would say my beard has gotten longer and thicker since our last interaction, fellas. What y'all think? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, that's a pretty quick process. I will say this. Smell, 10 out of 10. 
I don't know what fragrance that is, but it smells good. It, 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 it's like a cologne sitting in your beard. A lot of beard cleansers and stuff don't have a good fragrance smell, but you can walk around all day feeling confident that your face or at least the beard area of your face is going to smell really well. Um, the wash provided a great lather. Um, I probably didn't, I put two squirts in my hand, but when I was adding water, I kind of lost some in the water. So I did a third squirt, but the lather it provided bef before the wash and after trying to rinse out that wash is definitely what I look for. Um, the beard thickener is something new. I'm going to have to do more research on what that specifically is because it's not exactly a beard oil either. So I'll probably have to bounce back with some more details about what that uh, beard thickener really is from a step-by-step -step perspective. Um, but my leave-in conditioner never fails me. So if you just need an all-purpose leave-in conditioner, boom. But today, it's not about the leave-in conditioner. It's about this King C Gillette. This is made by the actual Gillette company that makes all these shaving products. Um, so, and like I said, there's been people from all cultures. I've read reviews from people of all cultures, ethnicities, backgrounds, and it seems to be a consensus that this is good. The model on the display at Target was black, so I kind of just did it because of that. Because um, when I first walked up, I was like, hmm, I don't know Gillette, but, you know, I want to make sure, like I said, this channel isn't just eliminating everybody else. This is a channel for men of color, people of color, but all people are welcome to come learn and grow with us as well. But we know that as people of color, our needs from a grooming and hygiene standpoint differ in the texture of our hair, the type of skin we have, things like that. So it's still important that we have a community that highlights those things and provides information about those things. Um, and the oil was a nice soft oil it goes easily into the skin it's not very thick at all it's not thick like a normal castor oil would be it's very thin but very um potent as well very potent very strong um so they did a good job of making sure all the smells between the wash the thickener and the oil are the same i would hate it if they made this product and all three of these products had a different smell like Really, bro? That's what we on right now. So that's good. Um, I, I'm going to give it a judgment right now of like a 7 out of 10. I really want to see how my beard responds to these things. It's just day one. Um, I'll probably do like a 30-day follow-up. Hold me accountable to that. Um, but guys, tell me what products you're using on your beard. Um, I've used quite a few different brands. So share in your comments what brands you're using. The products within those brands, are you using just the wash, just the oil? Are you mixing and matching different things? Holla at me. Let me know what's good. Um, and I knew this one was going to be kind of quick because it doesn't take anything to wash your beard. So um, I just wanted to introduce this King C Gillette brand to you guys. I've seen it go on a bigger display at Target, so obviously it's growing. Um, I will link these products in the bio below. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit those bell notifications so you don't miss anything happening on my channel. And until the next time, y'all, peace.